Hello everyone, it's Simmer Emily here, and for today's video, I am doing a tropical tiny home speed build. I love how this house turned out. It is definitely a tiny house, but it's very cute, and I think it would be perfect for a starter home. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to the cost that much, but I do know that it's right around twenty, twenty-three thousand. I think. Um, but I still think that if you got rid of a couple things, then you could make this into an affordable starter home. So, it is very tiny and, like I said, it is tropical themed. I wanted to go for like that beachy vibe where it kind of just looks like it belongs on the shore and like I'm just feeling the tropical vibes right now. <laughs> but... I really I really do love how this house turned out I think that it was it turned out really beautiful also um, it will be available for download I only used base game items for this build so that you guys can download it and have all of the stuff in it so it will be on my origin account and you can download it from there or on the gallery that's what I meant <laughs> you can download it on the gallery from my origin account I think that's how it works. I don't know. But um, you can download it. So uh, I will have the information down in the description box below for you guys. And yeah. So I wanted to do something really pretty in the kitchen with just like a stone backsplash and just like very neutral colors. And then the rest of the area is kind of blue and there's white wood throughout the entire house and the living room I was having a really hard time with honestly because I was trying to figure out do I want to center everything with the window with the front window or do I want to try to center everything with that wall I was having a really hard time trying to decide what to do but I ended up just putting a TV on the wall and just going with it <laughs> Um, and then I also wanted to put in like a splash of color because I felt like it was only the blues and it just it wasn't feeling super tropical to me so I wanted to add in some oranges and that is what I did there and then um, some more lighting just because I felt like it was kind of dark in there and like that wall needed something a little extra so I did kind of struggle trying to find stuff to put on the table and um, just trying to find clutter items so you can definitely go back through and um, add all the clutter that you want and add all the decorations that you want I kind of kept this pretty basic and bare so anyway we are moving on to the bathroom now and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do the layout and this was what I finally figured out or finally decided on actually and then I was having the hardest time trying to pick what kind of flooring I wanted in there and what kind of wallpaper stuff I wanted on the walls it was so difficult I don't even know why I was having such a hard time with this but I spent a decent amount of time on it and I do like how it turned out in the end so you guys will see I put that like turquoise color and I really like that um, and then I just went ahead and added in some like little decorations in there I added like that little stand thing for the towels and just a little detail um, and then for the bedroom this bedroom I actually ended up having to extend by one because I tested it with my sim and you actually couldn't go around the bed because the room was so small but I did end up extending it so the final house does have an extension to it um, but that's the only difference in that bedroom so I just was trying to find more splashes of color that I could put on the walls and just trying to decorate it and make it not look as plain and boring <laughs> and then I did go ahead and add in a child's bedroom and like I said I kind of kept everything pretty plain and basic so this room is also pretty plain I tried to keep it gender neutral so it could be for a boy or a girl it doesn't really matter 
the kids' bedroom is really nothing spectacular. I just kind of threw it together and then you can always make it whatever you'd like. So here I am just going through and trying to find some more clutter to put in the kitchen. I personally love putting clutter into my houses just because I feel like it makes them look more lived in. Um, and then here I'm trying to find a fireplace to put in here, but I just didn't feel like a beach house should have had a fireplace. I mean, they can, but this one just, I just didn't feel like this one should have. Um, so then <laughs> I was trying to decide if I wanted to paint the grass with sand or just leave it as grass and I just decided to end up leaving it as grass but as you can see I changed my mind a lot I had no idea what I wanted to do with the outside uh, so I did end up just kind of decorating with some rocks and making the landscape look a little nicer I added in some palm trees and everything like that also so now moving on to the pictures of the house. This is the front view and what it looks like on the front. I think that it's beautiful. I just love all the colors and the landscaping. Even though it's basic, it still looks very beautiful, I think. Uh, so this is the kitchen and you have the bar stool to sit at. Um, and then this is the living room looking in from the kitchen. Another shot of the living room. I really like how the living room turned out also. I think that it's very beautiful. Um, and then again, another shot of the kitchen. And then this is the child's bedroom. Like I said, it's nothing like over the top, but I still think that it, it works. And then this is the extended uh, bedroom that I, I didn't show the extension of it, but this is what it looks like now. And then this is the bathroom, very tropical looking and cute. And the other side of the bathroom with the little shelves and the shower. And then this is a, another shot just of the living area with the living room and kitchen and the final overview. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye everyone.